Welcome back to Julie's Ruth Boutique. So, you want to make an easy flower? How about all those bicycle frames you have from the Dollar Tree? And the 21 inch mesh. So, let's put them together and let's make a really easy flower that's not going to take you any time at all. So, let's get started. Welcome back to Julie's Wreath Boutique. So, let's make a wreath and let's use a Dollar Tree um, bicycle wheel frame. And I know that they have these at the local Dollar Trees because mine had them. Let's use a piece of felt to cover the back. I've already measured it. And this is the same as a 14 inch wreath frame at Dollar Tree. Let's use some 21 inch fabric mesh that I have lots of. And if you have deco mesh, guys, you can use deco mesh too. So this is a great project to get rid of that 21 inch mesh that you may have, have on hand. And then we are gonna either use this yellow center or this sunflower center, depending on what we like better. And we're gonna make a wreath where we're not gonna use a wood burner, but we're gonna use a rotary cutter. And we're gonna make a very simple, basic wreath that I think you could probably make in about 15 minutes. So let's get started. Okay, so the first step is we need to get our wreath centers ready to go. So I'm gonna prep the yellow one. I might do this one a little later, but I think we're gonna do the yellow one. So basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna just take a wire. I'm gonna put it over the top here, halfway. I took some floral pins and I cut them down a little bit so that I could just go right over that wire fairly easy. So I'm gonna put about three of them here and then that way they won't poke through the other end, okay? Then I just take a little piece of um, felt here that I've cut off, and then I'm just gonna put some glue. You can get all of my supplies that I'm using here, like my tools, off of my Amazon shop, and it's always listed in the description box below. If you're wanting to get like any of the mesh or wreath centers or any of that, again, all the places I like to shop, the Wreath Shop, Trendy Tree, Mel's Crafty Mojo. Oops, don't put your finger in the glue like I just did. Um, you can find those links down below too. So I just like to use these tea pens. If you've watched me any length of time, you know that I like these. It just kind of adds a little bit more security and we're just going to add it right there. So we're just going to let that all cool down and let's get started on the flower. Okay, so let's cut our mesh. So I've already cut quite a few rolls, but I'm just gonna take and roll it out. And basically, since this is 21 inch mesh, we need a square. But I'm gonna double this mesh so that you can't see the frame underneath. If you don't have enough to double it, you can do it simply by using just 21 inches, but you might be able to see your frame. It just depends on the color of your mesh. So. Since this is 21 inches, I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna add another 21 inches. And then I'm gonna take my rotary cutter and simply cut it. There's no need to use the wood burner because the type of pedal we're gonna use won't require it. So now that we've got our mesh cut, let's put it on the Dollar Tree frame. Okay, it's really pretty simple. I'm going to double up my mesh here so that it now only is at 21 inches. You don't have to be exact, but you want a square, okay, see? So I've folded it over, as you can see. So now we're gonna take one end and we're going to make a triangle. All right, I'm gonna bring the long side is this way and the short sides are over here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a pinch in the middle here and then I'm just going to bring my side over here and my side over here. And basically this is going to form kind of like a daisy petal for us, all right? But because we doubled up, you can see the richness of the, of the mesh, you're not gonna be able to see um, the frame. So I'm gonna take my frame here and we're gonna use whichever one you wanna start with and I'm gonna put it about right here so that any center I use will work. You can do it a little bit bigger. So let's see, if I put this on my center of my mat and then I use the blocks, I'm thinking about one inch from that center is where I'm going to attach it. And you can move these up and down too once you have it on your bicycle frame. That's what's good about that, all right? Just kind of holding it on. All right, all right, I'm gonna pull that really tight. I'm gonna cut it. 
So now you're probably saying, Julie, what do you do with this? Let me show you. I have this handy dandy tool. There's a couple of different versions you can get on Amazon, but I will list this down below. And basically you need to be really careful with it, okay? But I'm gonna be able to cut all that mesh like that. It didn't cut through, my blade's a little dull. Okay, so now I'm gonna make another petal. It's really that simple. And the next petal, we'll probably put it on this frame here. Again, fold over your mesh. All right, you wanna make like a square. You wanna fold it over because we need it to be doubled. So this is like quadrupled at this point. We're gonna just take a pinch in the middle and I'm gonna just kinda come over and add one side here and we're just gonna add the other side and I'm gonna hold it like so. So we're gonna skip one and go to the next one. So I'm gonna try to be consistent now with how I put these on. So you want it to be the right size here. All right, pull it and cut it. Okay, so we're at the last one and I do wanna show you one little thing. Because we have an odd number of these um, sp spindles, if that's what you wanna call it, I did have to put two petals beside each other. It doesn't seem like it matters a whole lot. So you could add even more petals if you wanted. So let's do one more petal. Um, I was able to get seven, I believe, yeah, seven petals out of that one roll. Now you have to remember this is a double roll. So let's make our little triangle here. We've made several wreaths like this over the years, but never on a Dollar Tree bike form. So now I'm just gonna take my yellow center and I'm just going to put it on one side here. And we're gonna just kind of pull down on some of these. Make sure that it covers it all. So let's see, is that gonna cover it? I think so. So let's pull it over. I don't know. Actually, this one is not. Let's put it on and then we're gonna tighten that all up and bring it together, all right? So I'm just going to tighten that. I'm gonna clip it. Okay, so I see a few gaps here. So what I wanna do is I wanna fix those gaps. So I'm gonna put this on this side and we are going to connect some of these petals together I'm gonna just take a zip tie and I'm just gonna go through. This is kind of what I wanna show you guys is that sometimes you have to fix little things, okay? So as you can see, I'm going through that one and I'm gonna just pull it, all right? And I'm also gonna, let's see, let's just pull it this way, all right? I'm gonna leave a little loop there. I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do in a moment though. So let's do this side, make sure everything stays together. And I want you to leave a loop. All right, now that we've got the loop, we are just going to put it in with the wires. And if you made it a little too short, you might need to go back like I might need to here in a moment. We're just gonna add another wire underneath here. You could probably have just added one wire like this and it be the problem solver, but I just wanna be able to have you guys have a way to solve the problem, okay? I'm gonna pull it, see how that pulls it? I'm gonna pull it on this one too, and I'm gonna cut all the extra So this is going to take the other one. Then I'm going to 
just tie it like so. Twist it. And just put it back in the wreath here. Okay. And then just take your cutters here and you can even, you know, make that a little tighter. You could probably do this on a lot of different wreaths, but I think this bicycle reel rim is a good solution for doing flower wreaths. I know my friend Michelle of a Noble Touch does it. I know uh, my friend Tina from Tina's Country Designs, I think. I might have that wrong. If so, I will leave their um, YouTube channels in the link in the description box below. Okay, so let's turn this over. And yes, let's get the yellow out of here. That solves our issue and that's beautiful. I just gotta get the mesh out of there. So before we end this tutorial, let's just take our felt. You can use whatever felt that you want, but this is what I have a lot of, so I'm gonna use it. I wish I had some pink, but I don't. So I just simply will bend it over or fold it over and I use my super sharp scissors here and I just poke holes right there. I'm going to put it over there and then just take little zip ties and simply attach it to the frame. Now I'm going to hang this from the frame itself. There's no need to add Oh, a hanger or anything. That's what's nice about the metal frames. I've never had them rust. I just think that they're a really good option if you're on a budget. And I know that a lot of you guys have a lot of mesh sitting around. And if not, go over to the, the places in my description box. You're going to get great service from all the companies that I love and use. And um, they're great. So let's just finish this up. Well, I can't even get it all in the frame here, but if you want an easy wreath to make, the probably the hardest thing was doing what I just did with the zip ties, but attaching it with the wire seems to make it all come together and it's not going to go anywhere. So I hope you enjoy this. If you watch this full tutorial, leave me a dollar sign in the comments below since we use the Dollar Tree um, bicycle frame and I will see if I can find a link for those if you can order them online as well as go to your local Dollar Tree. So until next time, we'll see you in Julie's Wreath Boutique. Bye-bye.